Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news, so let's get to it. The very first thing I want to show you guys are a few new releases from Wild Past, but these are actually going to be hitting their Shapeway store. As of right now, they will not be part of their main line, but things could always change as far as that goes. But the first one is the Magyarosaurus, and it is really, really nice looking, as always. This is a very small titanosaur, so the figure itself isn't going to be super large. Something to keep in mind when considering purchasing it, but you can see that as far as the sculpt in detail, this is phenomenal and is really, really highly detailed. And in fact, this is one that I am very heavily considering picking up as far as my first Shapeways figure from Wild Past. I've actually never ordered anything from Shapeways. I've always considered it, but I just never have pulled the trigger on anything. But with how nice this figure looks, this may actually end up being my first purchase from Shapeways. But they also have another figure on their Shapeways store that has just recently released, and that is a Cetacosaurus as well as a Reaponimamus, which is really cool. This is actually the first time I've ever seen a figure of that species. That's just something you don't often see get created by any company. But that seems to sort of be the theme of things with Wild Past because they often create figures of species that we don't usually see get figures in general. So yet another extremely cool release from Wild Past. Again, both of these are Shapeways releases. So make sure you check the description after the video is over as I will have a link to the Shapeways store of Wild Past where you can pick up either or both of these. Then if you can recall a company a while back that we had promoted quite a bit from Nine Modelism has actually released yet another new kit. This is not necessarily a dinosaur kit, however, this is actually a Zilla kit. It is being branded as the Urban Dragon, but it is a resin kit and it looks unbelievable. The sculptor from Nine Modelism is actually the one who created this. I don't know that this kit is actually going to be under the Nine Modelism title or company, but Regardless, I know it is the same sculptor from that company that has produced this kit. The kit is actually 230 US dollars. Of course, excluding shipping, shipping to the United States or Europe is $40 and in Asia is $24 to $30. And again, just like usual when it comes to kits like this, I will include a link in the description to where you can contact the sculptor on Facebook to purchase this if you would like, or you can contact me and I will contact them for you. This is again an extremely cool kit. If you are a fan of the Godzilla film with Matthew Broderick, then odds are you're probably going to love this. And I thought it was cool enough to pass along to you guys and show off some more incredible work from the sculptor of Nine Modelism. And then as far as Candid Sculpts goes, it's been a little while since I promoted something from them. They are officially selling the Packy Rhinosaurus and it is absolutely gorgeous. You can see from these images just how beautiful it looks once it's actually painted up and fully finished. It's a sculpt that he's been working on for quite some time and again, it is absolutely beautiful. As far as resin kits go, again, you're not going to find much better than what you find from Candid Sculpts and this is definitely a great way to kind of get into kits. Again, I love resin kits. I think they're just a ton of fun to actually build and paint and create a dinosaur in your own vision as far as the paint scheme goes. So if this is something you would like to pick up, just like with the Zilla resin kit, I will include a link to Candid Sculpts on Facebook in the description, or you can contact me and I will contact them for you. And then as far as Nanmu goes, we actually got a look at the paint schemes of their upcoming Triceratops. Of course, this is a Jurassic Park inspired Triceratops and it is absolutely unbelievable and could easily and quickly become my new favorite release from Nanmu overall. This is just next level gorgeous as far as this looks paint scheme and the base and everything is just unbelievable, really, really taking me back to the sick Triceratops scene in Jurassic Park. And they actually also released a few images of the bust and the paint job on that as well. Again, looking unbelievably beautiful in every possible way. This is pretty much going to be a must have from Nanmu if you are a Jurassic Park fan. This is definitely something that I personally am unbelievably excited about and potentially more excited about this than anything else Nanmu is releasing, which is really saying something because they are releasing a lot of incredible stuff continuously, but this Triceratops is drop dead gorgeous. And if you can recall, as far as Star Ace Toys goes, we've been covering some of their upcoming Harryhausen style models. Well, they are officially unveiling the images of their Ymir and it is unbelievably beautiful. And this one is really 
tugging at my heartstrings. Again, this is a film that I loved growing up and having such a beautiful version of it here from Star Ace Toys makes me want to own this so badly. Again, pretty much all of their Harryhausen inspired models I would love to own because I am a gigantic fan of Ray Harryhausen and all of the films that he created the stop motion for and this is one of the earliest films that I had actually seen of Harryhausen so this has always been something that holds a special place in my heart again it's a really nicely done model paint wise as well I love how they've painted it with quite a few different tones of color giving it an extremely realistic appearance overall and this is actually already up for pre-order on sideshow.com you can purchase either the Ymir himself and that's just the standalone statue for $205 or the deluxe version which which would be $250 and includes that really cool street light there. And again, both versions are awesome and a really good price overall. So if you would like to pick these up, I will include a link in the description to where you can pre-order both again on sideshow.com. And the final thing today is actually from PNSO. I don't have any more Mattel news or anything for you guys as I did release a video earlier today with quite a bit of information about new Mattel figures for 2021. So make sure you check that out if you haven't quite yet. But the final thing that I have as far as this video goes is new PNSO as they are continuously unloading ridiculous amounts of new figures on us and this follows through again with this week as we have actually quite a few new reveals although the very first thing I want to show you guys is actually a few new images that were released of the Sora Pelta as we had only seen a few images briefly in a news video this figure is actually already up for sale on amazon.com but these images show you again just how beautiful the figure is as a whole and Hopefully this will help to convince you further if you would like to purchase this or not. Mine is currently on its way so I will have a review up of it of course as soon as it does arrive. But on top of this we actually also have another new Ceratopsian that is going to be released from PNSO. And that is actually a Mach Hyro Ceratops and it is absolutely gorgeous. This is a figure that again just like pretty much everything that PNSO has released lately I absolutely have to have in my collection. I think the sculpt is incredibly nicely done and the paint scheme might be my favorite paint scheme that I've seen from any of the newer paint schemes of PNSO and definitely as far as the Ceratopsians go this thing just looks next level beautiful in every way and this is probably the first time I've seen anyone release a figure of this species so that in its own right is cool enough but with a figure that looks as good as this it is easily going to be the best figure of this species for a very long time to come if anybody else even attempts to make one again this thing is just incredible and they actually are also going to be releasing a Sinoceratops which you can see from this image in the top left hand corner this is the only image currently that we have of the figure but if you actually look at the title right there underneath it has the same name as the baby that they had released earlier this year so that now means that that baby has grown up and in fact is this very beautiful looking Sinoceratops that you see before you. I cannot wait to see more images unveiled of the figure and get a better look at it, but I am 100% sold on that one as well. Again, PNSO has really stepped it up this year, released a ton of figures out of nowhere, and there seems to be no sign of them stopping, which is just crazy if you ask me. But again, two more incredible figures that I cannot wait to get a hold of from PNSO. So as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.